My name is Darren Cashmark, it's spelled D-A-R-Y-N-C-A-S-H-M-A-R-K. I have uh, stage four lung cancer. My wife and I moved to Lone Jack in May of 2017. We are located less than three quarters of a mile from the proposed capital. We are both pro-farmer, pro-rancher, and pro-agriculture. There are cattle and other lab livestock that neighbors on our street keep in their yards and larger cattle pastures all around our neighborhood. We have no problem at all with any of these. We moved to the country to get away from the pollution of the city, enjoy the clean air, and generally nicer people of the country. Last summer, we were able to smell manure on several of the warmer days. As we live in the country, I assume that this was a smell from local farmers spraying manure on their fields. I realize that the Missouri Department of Natural Resources says that they are not concerned about the air quality issues, but if they are not, who is? Who is concerned for the air quality issues? Um, for those that believe that CAFOs don't pose any health hazards, there are many reputable scientific and medical organizations that have found significant health-related issues associated with neighborhoods surrounding CAFOs. I have a document from the CDC website that outlines several of them, including increased uh, symptoms of asthma, uh, COPD, and chronic respiratory problems. I am not the only one living in this area uh, around the proposed capital that has health issues. I just found out about another family that has a young child suffering from cancer also that is terrified about what this capital can mean for the health of their child. A brief search on the internet can also find many more of these documents. They're, they're everywhere. If you do a Google search, there's, there's literally hundreds of these things that show the detrimental effects of CAFOs. Um, there are also many other serious concerns that relate to the possible water issues that uh, the Valley Oaks expansion um, could pose, and there's been several people have already testified to that. Many people have also flippantly uh, said, you know, hey, if you don't like the smell, move back to the city. Unfortunately, it's not just the smell, it's also the health concerns that I'm concerned about. I have, I have significant ones, obviously. Um, our property values are gonna be already devalued. I've read that there are cases that some properties uh, in close proximity as we are that lose value up to 85% of the value. We just bought our home in May of last year. I am in the process of selling my business and I have already cashed in all my retirement funds to buy this property so that my wife can live there after I pass. Now I don't know really what we're supposed to do. Like I can't afford to move, and I'm not. I don't think I'm going to be able to stay to live there either. Um, the Department of Natural Resources is charged with protecting the natural resources of our state for everyone, not just the one block of business owners. I demand that the Missouri Department of Natural Resources actually do what it was created to do: protect the where water, air, and environment from the devastating effects of this CAFO before. The permit is actually issued. There's over 800 residents within a two mile radius of this property that are going to be significantly affected if it's allowed to proceed. Here's the CDC report if you're interested. Thank you.